Okay, uh, you go back from the store, you get your new computer, or you just finish installing your operating system, and you're like, what do I do now? Well, what's, what should I do first? And in this video, I'll talk about the first things you should do after you get a new computer or after you finish installing Windows. The first thing, numero uno, is to go, um, let's start, um, and uninstall the programs that you that didn't you didn't know exist. I installed Windows 8 off of just fresh. I doesn't have any like OEM stuff, but on my laptop over here, it did. It had all this ASUS stuff, and I, I really hated it. It's got every single uh, computer manufacturer like to differentiate themselves because their computers are pretty much the exact same thing as a computer by Samsung. And so they have to say, oh, well, mine has this in it, mine has this in it. So instead of har just hardware differences, because a laptop looks like a laptop, and most Windows laptops are exactly the same thing, besides very small differences. So they really try and uh, differentiate themselves by making their own Wi-Fi manager, their own little dock thing. It just slows down your system and gives you a very bad experience. So the first thing that you should do is uninstall the programs that you don't know what they are. And to go that, you go Control Panel Programs, Programs, and Features, or if you have Windows 8, hit Control W, Programs, and Features. So, yes. Um, the next thing you should do is you should install CCleaner. Um, just, it's a free program, and pretty much what it is, is you go on this program, and it has everything that you need to maintain your computer. All the Mac people who say, I'm a Mac person, or I, I, I like my Mac because it never slows down, really are just not that great at computers. All you have to do to keep your computer running, doing like what you would do to your car. you got to maintain your car. And so all you have to do for that is uh, go onto the cleaner and run cleaner. And pretty much what it does is it deletes all the temporary files, all the things that you don't need to run, all the like cookies and all that kind of thing that's just slowing your system down. Um, you can go and run the register cleaner. Um, there's tools that are involved, such as uninstall, just like that. Uh, what we showed you earlier. You can uninstall all the programs you don't know what they are. Uh, you can wipe an entire drive so that nobody else can get it. You can use system restore from here. You can find a file, like you want a specific file, you don't know where it is, say it's a document or any kind of thing, and you can just go by date, everything, and it'll find it on your hard drive. There's also, you can you can see what things uh, go at startup. It's all the different uh, programs that are, if you allow them or do not allow them to start. You can also, uh, for uh, what goes in the context menu, it's, it's a very, very, very solid program. Okay, the next thing that I would suggest you install is Google Chrome. Google Chrome is a solid, solid web browser with several, several things that really, really make your web browsing and your web and computer experience so much better. It's a very, very, very good web browser, the best out there, and it has several extensions, themes, everything you could want. Also, it's running on my phone, my tablet, where the heck that is, and on my laptop, and it's signed in with your Google account, which you already have because of YouTube or whatever, and you can go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in between your devices. Like, on my phone, I can say, uh, oh, I was browsing this on my computer and I have to leave, so all I have to do is pick up my phone, click on other devices, and boom, it's got what I was looking up earlier. Really. Along with uh, Google Chrome, and talking about extensions, there's an extension that I really suggest you get. One thing that makes web browsing very annoying is advertisements. They're all over the place. And while you may not get every single one of them gone, with this program called Adblock, you're going to get rid of most of the ads that you'll ever have. And so go into extensions after you type in Adblock and uh, get this program called Adblock. All you have to do is click on Add to Chrome and be signed in with your account. And all the advertisements that are so annoying, all the annoying ads here, there, everywhere, are just going to be gone. 
And unless they're like really an integral part of the website, then they won't be taken away. But 90% of the time, you will not be seeing the terrible, annoying, sometimes just racy advertisements that are around the internet. For example, I'll just go to YouTube, and there's no ads. There's no ad at the top. So, uh, yes. The next thing that I suggest getting is Spotify. And it's a really, really nice program that not only allows you to manage the music that you already have in your collection, but it allows you to search for, make playlists for, any single song in the recorded universe, pretty much. Besides small uh, people that didn't want uh, their deals on this music streaming service, you can pretty much listen and have on your computer any type of uh, music or any type of songs. And you can just make playlist after playlist, and as well, it has a social aspect. In this right hand side, you can see what your Facebook friends are listening to on Facebook, and it's very, very nice. And you can see what your friends are listening to. Like, for example, my f Isaac is listening to this, or this, and I can search for any song. So, um, The next program I'd like to show you is called 7-Zip. Uh, you can just go on Google 7-Zip, and what it is, it's, it's a free alternative to WinZip, and in my, or WinRAR, or whatever you use, and it's far, far superior because, number one, you don't have to feel bad about pirating it, and number two, because it looks nicer, and it works very, very well and very fast. Um, just It's built into the context right-click menu. So, like, for example, in my downloads, I have a RAR file. Just right-click on it, click on 7-Zip, open archive. And it just works like anything else, but it's, it's very, very, very handy to use, and it, it works well. It works very well. Um... Like this .gz file, WinZip can get or WinRAR can get this. Like any type of, I've never come across a file compression that uh, 7-Zip could not handle. I think that wraps it up for this video. I hope you like this, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any ideas for a video that I can make. I granted I may not look like it, but I actually do know quite a few things about computers. And so if there's like a question that you'd like me to do a video over, then I will definitely do that for you. So just leave a comment or personal message me, and I will um, make the video for whatever you want. So um, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.